You ever been having a really good raid on woods and suddenly you hear an SVD and then you're dead? Uh, Sturman is sometimes quite hard to kill, but for the past month I've been doing nothing but killing Sturman, and so in this guide I'm going to break down most importantly what him and his two goons spawn with, and most importantly how to kill them. So stick around and hopefully this guide helps you exterminate the Sturman. Now killing Sturman isn't as easy as just killing Sturman himself, he has two goons that come with him as well. Now these goons usually have the last name Svet, but more importantly they usually wear like a Momex and a class 6 armor. But on top of that they actually have a large thorax health of 138, whereas their head is 62 similar to Sturman. Now they usually wear about a class 6 to 5 armor, I've seen them with Fort, mainly Zook 6A. Now guys, be careful though, because their thorax has a lot of HP, so I would definitely go for headshots. More importantly, Sturman doesn't actually wear armor, so if you hit him with hollow point rounds, it's really going to take him down quite quickly. But can I put a massive emphasis on headshots? Now what I'm doing here is I'm shooting at these cars near triple stack, because I've heard some SVD shots pop off, and for some weird reason, if you shoot shots towards him, sometimes he repositions. Now what I'm doing here is checking towards the gypsy wagons, and also in front of these logging piles over here where the scab is crouched, is a nice spot for Sturman's goons and himself to sometimes hang out in. So what I'm doing is I'm checking all the main spots that he usually likes to hang out. I've seen him up there near the chair, down below near the bell, and so what I'm doing is I'm getting another angle towards this open uh, hanger in front of me, Checking between the car here and the truck. Now, I can't name the amount of times that I've killed Sturman camping right there. It's probably like eight times in a row I've had him there. Um, for some weird reason, he seems to gravitate towards that area. We're also checking the top ridge. Now, so what you see I'm doing is I'm getting down a little bit here because I, I want to attack him from this side. And I cautionarily peek this side little open uh, logging camp because sometimes his goons hang out there. As you can see, I get a shot off on one of them, but he takes the first hit because of his Zook 6A armor. So being careful guys, we're going to push up here and one of them pushes me quite aggressively. Now Sturman's goons will push you, however Sturman himself usually finds a nice spot to hide and hides in it. This is why thermals are such a great idea. But as you can see, I finally pop him and he was near the truck. Now moving over to loot Sturman is pretty interesting. The first thing you'll be checking for is an ice pick in his scabbard. Now the ice pick goes for a lot of money. We're going to be priority checking his pockets though because more importantly than his weapons he has a Sturman key. Now Sturman key sells for about 260 to therapist but more importantly it opens his stash. Now his AK has a Golnik in the top as you can see the blue tips here in the mag and he has an SVD with a PSO. Checking his goons, we're going to find what I said earlier, Redut. Usually suppressed SKS is the main one that I find um, with BP and sometimes the VSS. Um, as you can see, they usually run BP, but I always priority search their backpack because generally in their backpack they can have either an Aquamari or like this one over here, it has a uh, labs keycard. So when you jump on Sturman, hit his pockets. When you jump on the goons, hit the bag straight away because that's where the valuables are. Now heading outside here towards his stash, we're going to unlock it with his key. Now the, the stash can be found on top of this tire. Now the key gets consumed with its one use and inside can be a lot of items. Now the items can vary from rollers to Bitcoin to anything rare like gold, uh, rings, GP coins, anything. Gunpowders of all colors, APB, Glock 18s and G17s. Now here comes the last part of the video and the part that I want to stress the most. If you really want to kill Sturman and kill him easily, I would suggest just doing it at night time and using a thermal. Now I know a lot of people don't have money for thermals, but stuff like the FLIR or the Fleur, they go for about 90k. And there's no excuse because Sturman really loves to hide in bushes. And with the thermal, it gives you the ability to look straight through them. Now, at night time, their vision is obstructed, as you can see. Like, you can peek for longer and also re-peek, usually, if they're not pissed at you. And you can hit shots on them consecutively. And uh, I've noticed that during the day, sometimes their just field of view is crazy. 
So what you want to be doing is running a thermal if you can. If you can't, don't repeat too long and Sturman will reposition. Um, so, so do you. As I said, he, we found him underneath this little pole here. But guys, rule number one, killing Sturman. Don't repeak. Rule number two, understand that these goons will push you and he will relocate. So if you get that out of the picture, you won't have any trouble taking him down. Nice work, chaps. Nice killingsmanship. Hey, so that concludes Sturman 101. If this guide in any way helped you take on Sturman, you know what to do. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, guys. As always, I stream six days a week on Twitch. The link will be in the description down below. And thank you so much for watching.